I'm heading for the shingle shores of Galston, looking out over the treacherous Yarmouth roads, a fickle and ever-changing stretch of shoreline and sandbars that when the wind is against the tide, whip up cruel and choppy seas. So it's with some trepidation that I rendezvous with Mark Crane and his hearty bunch who have promised me the chance of catching a range of fish species that swim in these beige waters. Sea bass, codling and the much underrated whiting. And to catch them, these boys have a rather novel craft. Basically what it is, it's a sit on top kayak. Yeah. Okay, I mean kayaks have been used by the Inuit and various other sort of nations, the Eskimos particularly, for hunting and fishing. Yeah. So you've got basically a very, very stable hull, very seaworthy hull. But these have been adapted so that you sit on top rather than inside. It's a stealthy but way to approach fish. Very much so, yeah. I mean, we, we anchor and there's very little sort of scare area. Yeah. So the fish, they don't sort of really know you're there. And we're casting just a little way down tide from us. Got the baits in the water and you just sit there quite happily riding over the waves. How easy is it to get a monster fish on one of these quite small boats? It's not hard. I've had friends taking common skate over 200 pounds on these as well. 200 pounds 200 on a skate? Pounds. On a kite. I mean, that must drag you around a little bit. It does. It takes them an hour or so to get them up off the bottom. At the moment, there's plenty of whiting out there, so you'll have non-stop action. OK, what we've got is a running ledger. Yeah. Coming down to long flowing trace. Mm -hmm. This will be lying along the bottom. That'll slightly attract them. Yeah. Which you need in this very murky oh, water. Yeah, the vibration as well as the, the colours. Fish will come grab the bait and then you just reel them in. Now I have done a bit of kayaking in my time, but never while fishing. So I'm a little worried about capsizing while casting. Time to don my dry suit and get fishing. Straight away, these more experienced kayak anglers are catching whiting large and small. And all I'm catching is seaweed. I live in hope. Frankly, I don't think this is a very bassy time at the moment, but who knows what else it might bring. It doesn't take me long to consider trying a different bait to tempt these fish. Time for a change. I've got some um, lugworm on and a squid head, and the bites are just coming all the time. Coddling. A few whiting, but it's thick with fish out here. It's almost like a fish soup. As with most inshore sea angling, the catch is a bit of a smorgasbord. Sadly, no sea bass, but we get some excellent tasting whiting. Well, we've got a lot of whiting to cook for lunch, which is a fish which, personally, I think is very underrated. A gadiform of the same family as cod, this predator feeds in large groups, patrolling the tides of these cloudy waters, hunting for smaller prey to gobble up. As an underused whitefish, they make a great substitute for the slow-growing sea bass. And in my opinion, if you cook them right, they're just as tasty. 